A showdown is certainly brewing in Lansing as the state moves toward reopening. The Michigan legislature voted to take the governor to court over her emergency powers as protesters stormed the Capitol. 7 Action News reporter Rudy Harper is live with the political fallout for us. Rudy? Carolyn, now House lawmakers make a way for that legal battle. Governor Whitmer says she has no intentions on rescinding that stay-at-home order, as you mentioned, as protesters converge on the Capitol. Chaos erupted inside the halls of the Michigan Capitol. Police and protesters face off as House lawmakers behind closed doors feud over the governor's emergency orders. Today, the GOP-controlled House approved Resolution 250, which would allow the Republican Speaker of the House to sue Governor Whitmer over her emergency orders during the coronavirus pandemic. Over the objection of Democrats, there was no debate. By moving forward without negotiation or public input on these bills, simply for a political maneuver to tie the arms of the governor. A separate bill passed by the GOP House would lift the closure of bars, gyms, sports facilities, and allow restaurants to have dine-in service starting May 16th. <laughs> Meanwhile, protesters, some armed with guns outside the Capitol, sending a message to Governor Whitmer. Police estimate between 400 to 700 protesters at that rally. No citations were issued. Police overall described those protesters as peaceful. I also reached out to the GOP leadership, and we are waiting to hear back. More to come on this story tonight on WXYZ. Live in Detroit, I'm Rudy Harper, 7 Action News. All right, thank you so much, Rudy.